before he began to preach. He said, you know, he said, I love to sing that song. He said, because I know that the older that I get, I'm just a little bit closer to home. Yeah. And I can almost see heaven. Yeah. I yeah. want you to know here this morning that I'll just, I'll try to preach for a few minutes of time. If the Lord will bless me, and if not, I, we've already heard such good preaching here. And I'll go ahead and get out of the way. But I want you to know while I'm here this morning, if it be the Lord's will, I made him a promise almost ten years ago. And if he would save my dying soul, there was nothing I would do for him. Oh, and it meant that I had to get up and preach. I want you to know right now. And while I was in school, I was scared to death. Like Brother Elisha was saying, to even get up and make any kind of presentation. I was scared to death to stand before anybody in this world. But I want you to know, at 2 o'clock in the morning, down on bended knees, I pour my heart out 
to my Lord, and he heard my cry. I was just an old man, and I woke up a couple hours later, for I'd fallen asleep down on my knees. I was just crying as hard as I could, and I crawled up in my bed, and I began to say, Lord, Lord, if it be thy will, Lord, if you would see me here tonight, you could take me on over in the morning, and I want you to know that have the sweetest comfort that I've ever felt. It came right down into my heart. Ain't you know what it seemed like. It seemed like a friend. I just wanted to shout as hard as I could. And began to say for this dying world. And I found the Lord. I want you to know that. And the Lord, he took up his abode in my heart. And all I wanted to do was run through that house and say, Dad, don't worry about a thing. When you leave this old world, I'll meet you over there in the morning. We're going to be together over in Canaan's land. We'll be over there forever and ever. But I want to just know that one time there was a man by the name of Samson. And you know what Samson says? And he was a Levite man right down from his youth and Nazarene. And you know what he said? And an angel spoke to his mother and said, you don't lay any kind of knife or scissors to his hand. You don't cut his yeah. hair for that. Or that is where his strength comes from. The Lord has blessed this man. And you know what he said? At the Philistine army, that they all hated the, they all hated Samson. And they would always try to seek, seek his very life. Yeah. And it seemed like every time that they would go after him, that Samson was just so strong. And he would take those men and even fight a thousand. And you know what? I want you to know that. And it says that, that whenever Samson, he was going down the road, it says a lion came out with yeah. him. And he slayed that lion right there. And he went on the sea. And as he came back, he seen the carcass of that lion laying there. And he opened up that carcass. And it says that there was bees there in this carcass. And honey was being made. And you know what it said? Yeah, that honey there. I want you to know that. And the Bible says that the devil is. He is as a lion seeking whom he may devour in this world. I want you to know if you got God on your side, you don't have a thing to worry about. Our troubles and sorrows can come. I'm glad I've got my Lord. For when we walk through this life, we begin to travel in. And troubles and heartaches, they come on every side. Whether it be one of our own, our own family members leave this world. Maybe they're caught up on something. Maybe they're just having a hard job. To know that I'm glad that I can get right down on bended knees. Yeah. And say, Lord, it's me again. Oh, Lord, would you hear my cry? You know what? There's many times that, that I'm traveling and I begin to listen to some old recordings. Brother Jason, you know all about that. Yeah. And you know, I heard one coming on the way here. And you know what he said? It was a brother way back. I believe it was back in the 70s. And he began he said, you know, my brother, he lives a couple states away, many, many miles. And he said, and he came over to me. He said, we were almost old men. And he said, Brother ID, he said, you got something in your heart. And I need in my heart. Or I need to, I need to serve the same God that you serve. And I need to know how to get in touch with him. And he said, all I heard him tell him was, was just pray as hard as you can.
to know, and I witnessed for myself. I, I had an old recording, and it was about it was about a man up in Michigan. I know many of you have heard me tell the story, and he began to preach, and he began to say unto my uncle Albert Puffo's brother, he said, Albert, you need to learn. You need to learn who you need in your heart. You need to get yourself right. You need to be able to say, Mommy, I deserve the same love that you do. And you know what? I played that for my uncle there. And he, just a few years later, after that recording, he, you know, he began to serve the Lord. And I played that for him. And he just began to weep. And he said, Josh, he said, whenever that preacher was, he was hunting out in the backwoods behind my great-grandmother's house. And you know, he said, he said, he said, and there was Sister Gracie's garden. He said, she's singing an old song to Zion. And you know, he said, he said the sweetest sound that you could ever hear. That she hit her knees and began to pray right there. It didn't matter who was around her. It didn't matter if anybody could hear her. And he said that she began to pray. Oh God, would you just save my children and save the grandchildren that I have in this world.
My Jesus, I shall see the Lord. Yeah, Lord. The Lord has been good to us in this world. And if you don't know the impart and remission of sins, I'll tell you one thing right now. There's nothing but joy, joy in this world. I want you to know I heard my dad preach many times about when I was a little boy and when Jake was about the size of Jonathan. And you know he would say, he would say unto the people that, and it was that Jake would come right up to him and get in his arms and I'd wrap right around his leg for crying. And you know what? He began to say that it was hard for him to preach, having both of us on him like that. serve the Lord with your whole heart and show your loved ones who it is that you stand for in this world and let them see the joy, the joy that is in serving the Lord and I want you to know that that if they look unto the same man that I looked unto if they look unto the same man as all these gathered together look unto they'll find peace in their soul And I found nothing but love and joy in serving the Lord. Y'all go ahead and start Chins a song. I'm glad to be here today. I'm glad for what I've got to feel, feel here today. But I want you to know that if there's any, if there's any among you that's been seeking after the Lord, yeah. and you and you spoke sweet peace to your soul, yeah. and today is the day of salvation. And all you need to do is proclaim Him and repent, and He can be your all in all. Page two forty one. There are love.
gotta respect for what the Lord has made out of him and what he's done for the Lord. I'm not putting him on no pedestal, but I'm putting on the pedestal what the brother has done for the Lord. Because you see the Bible says that the, without the Lord we're nothing.